Carol left embarrassed after none of her guests made cut for Kate's wedding reception. Carol Middleton, who celebrates her 68th birthday on Tuesday, deftly overcame the embarrassment by hosting a series of B-list sidebar events. Rumored to have played a critical role in the union of Kate, Princess of Wales, and her royal husband, Carol Middleton was understood to have worked behind the scenes to introduce her eldest daughter onto the royal scene. The 68-year-old seemingly maintained a close relationship with Kate throughout her romance with Prince William, with commentators claiming Carol alongside Pippa Middleton often played the role of counselor. After an eight-year courtship, William proposed to his long-term girlfriend and wedding preparations were underway. And according to one royal author, the Middletons were not prepared to succumb to the same destiny as previous royal in-laws. When Kate and William were due to get married, it was decided that the Middletons would share the costs of the wedding with Queen Elizabeth II and then Prince Charles. It was reported that Carol and Michael Middleton contributed around £250,000. In his book, Elizabeth, An Intimate Portrait, Giles Brandreth wrote, Generations of royal in-laws have complained about being airbrushed out of the picture once the union is announced, but William, who now called Michael Middleton dad, made it clear that his in-laws were not going to suffer the same fate. He continued, Palisades told The Telegraph that the Middletons and the royal family will play an equal part in the couple's lives. Quite so. Except that the Middletons found that none of their guests made the cut for the post-wedding reception at Buckingham Palace. While the author pointed it out as an embarrassment for Carol, he insisted the Middletons' matriarch deftly overcame it by hosting a flurry of B-list sidebar events. Kate and William got married in April 2011 at Westminster Abbey. The fairytale ceremony was watched by almost 72 million people worldwide and 2,000 specially invited guests filled the London church, with Carol, Michael, and Kate's brother James seated in the front row opposite the Queen and Prince Philip. Their lunchtime reception at Buckingham Palace was hosted by Queen Elizabeth, commencing after the arrival of the newlyweds' carriage. The private gathering brought together guests from the congregation who represented both the couple's private and official lives. Kate and William made their iconic appearance on the palace balcony before sitting down for lunch. In the evening, a private dinner was held at the London Royal Residence for the couple and their close friends and family. The Middletons have continued to play a vital role in the lives of the Prince and Princess of Wales. During the summer of last year, Kate and William moved from Kensington Palace, London, to Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. It puts them just a short distance away from Buckleberry, where Carol and Michael currently live. While Kate's relationship with her family has remained close, William's bond with the Middletons has developed throughout his 11 years of marriage. According to royal expert Rachel Andrew, William has a very close relationship with Carol and Michael. In particular, the father of three looks up to the couple's parenting skills and takes inspiration from them for his own down-to-earth approach to fatherhood. In an interview with OK! Magazine, Ms. Andrew said, we've seen over the past few years that he gets on really well with them. He admires the way that Carol and Michael brought up Catherine, Pippa, and James Kate's siblings and that seems to be reflected in the way William is a down-to-earth father now. She continued, he, of course, lost Diana when he was very young and probably looks up to Carol because he's lacked a mother figure for so much of his life. With Carol and Michael, he's got people to confide in who are removed from the monarchy. And according to the Daily Express royal correspondent Richard Palmer, Carol plays an active role in the upbringing of her royal grandchildren. In May 2022, he sat down with co-host Pandora Forsyth for an episode of the Royal Roundup. Ms. Forsyth questioned Mr. Palmer over who was looking after nine-year-old Prince George, seven-year-old Princess Charlotte and four-year-old Prince Louis while their parents were carrying out royal duties. At the time, the Waleses had a full-time, live-in nanny but since their move to Windsor, it is understood that she no longer resides with the family of five. Mr. Palmer explained, I think also Carol Middleton steps in, I think when we were in the Caribbean with them, Carol was looking after the children. I'm sure with the help of the nanny, but she was in charge for a time as far as I understand it.